Last week we tackled my scrap wood ladder and now today I'm going to show you where I'm going to be able to store 8x4 sheets of plywood. You can definitely make your cart smaller but I'm actually going to be using two sheets of 8x4 plywood to create this whole thing. Ha! That's so funny. I've been looking for this. People ask me where I get my inspiration from and truth be told it's moments like this. I just go on Pinterest and I review what I originally liked and then I start to add my little twist to it to make it my own. I grab my measuring tape and 16 inches up from the bottom left hand corner and 16 inches in from the top right hand corner. I made a little tick mark because now we are going to connect those dots to cut across at an angle with our chalk line. I see a lot of my fellow creators use foam to cut their plywood down on, but personally I don't have the space in my car to purchase that, so I just shimmy some 2x4s that I have on hand to raise it up a bit, and then I use my circular handsaw to just run across that line we made. I'm that type of human that cleans as I work, so you'll see me vacuum quite a bit, but you don't have to do that. It's just personal preference. Now that we have the first piece cut, we're just going to move that out of the way, lay down the piece that is not, trace it so both of them are the same when we go to cut the second piece. Once the pieces were lined up perfectly, I clamped down the corners, traced it with my pencil, and then repeated the process of cutting that little triangle piece off. If you remember my video last week, I saved all the pieces from that scrap wood ladder. Actually already had pocket hole screws drilled within them that were meant for two by fours. So all I had to do was ensure that the measurement was exactly what I needed. I shimmied those smaller pieces in between my long two by four by eights because that's obviously how long I want it. But the thickness, I would definitely say, watch it. Smaller is way better. I had to cut it down even further after this. And I'll just be upfront with you about that right now. <laughs> You want to be sure that your frame will hold the weight that you are looking for it to hold. In my head, I would love to buy in bulk these plywood sheets when I have the opportunity and just have them on hand versus trying to borrow someone's car and get one sheet of plywood and then I have to keep running back to the store to get more. That's why I created this cart was I have so many big projects in mind, but I don't have a big enough car. If I have a big enough cart, I'll just buy in bulk when I do have a big enough car that I can borrow. <laughs> I pre-drilled holes along the bottom of the plywood that I wanted to attach to this 2x4 and I did phone a friend, my boyfriend, he's the best, to hold this plywood up because I just couldn't figure out how to secure it without help. I love doing projects by myself but this is something I couldn't do and I secured it in with some wood screws. I need this to be much skinnier, like it will fit right there, but it will just be too bulky for my liking. So I am gonna go ahead, take these middle pieces out. I'm not gonna film any of this because I'm so frustrated and I just wanna get through it. So I'm gonna, when I basically come back, this is gonna be like that. It's gonna be way skinnier, way smaller. I'm actually excited that I had to take it apart and make it skinnier because then it gave me a moment to make the bottom of this kind of cool and with a little bit of personality. I just had this extra wood from my laundry room shelving and I covered the frame with that instead of just a long sheet of plywood and I just like how that looks and now I had to have Paul help me once again to put the other side back on and then we can move forward I promise the opening by my feet is what you are going to measure you're not gonna have to put one towards the front but you want to measure that opening cut out a piece of plywood or a thicker piece of wood and we are gonna clamp that in place and screw it to secure it It was one of those weeks where a project that should have taken me about five hours to build took me literally five days. So at this point I was like, okay, this is definitely bulky, but I can judge it up later with some decor. So I decided to add a locking caster to each corner on the bottom into the frame. I would say that you could be done here, but the reason why I'm actually gonna take that back, I'm gonna put that sentence back in my mouth as Jenna Marbles would say, that I'm going to secure it to the walls because God forbid it's like top heavy and it falls forward and then it hits Paul's car. I've already dinged it up enough. I'm not about to be responsible for that. So I took one 36 inch, one inch pipe and then I connected two 90 degree elbows to that. To those elbows, I connected six inch pieces that then I connected to a floor flush mount. A lot of connected, but that's what you're doing. You're connecting all the pieces to create this little handlebar looking thing that I also actually made in my laundry room makeover. 
There wasn't a stud where I needed it to be, so I anchored a piece of wood into the drywall to add some extra security, and drywall is a little bit flimsy when the iron is going to be shifting a little bit when I move the cart. I secured the flush mounts to that piece of wood, and then I used two pipe straps to secure the cart to that pipe. With the wheels included in all, this thing is 51 inches tall, 11 and a half inches in depth, and eight feet long, so it can hold a wide range of materials of all different measurements that maybe don't fit on my racks. After pushing this back and forth a little bit and testing it out, I realized the back of the plywood is very flimsy, so I removed the pipe straps and added a piece of scrap wood for extra, you know, strength and security. I've been saying this the whole time, but that's what it is when you work with wood. You may or may not recognize this handle. I actually painted it copper to match my copper workshop table, and it is from my office makeover. I like to reuse things wherever I can, but... <sighs> Tell me if you think I'm wrong, this just looks way too plain. So I put a poll up on my Instagram of what decor inspo should I do to the outside of this because it's just way too plain, it needs a little bit of personality. Like I always say, it is not my way or the highway. Comment down below because sharing is caring. What would you do differently? What would your wood storage look like? You're bound to inspire another DIYer that is part of this family. I am scrolling, scrolling, scrolling with my eyes closed, pointing at my screen and the winner of the giveaway is Oh no, I don't know if I'll be able to say this last name. Lauren Bagosian. So I put your name down in the description box. Please comment and I'm gonna get in contact with you so I can send you your prize. Thank you guys to everybody who entered. I will catch you on the next video for another DIY.